you all. Thanks for tuning in on Cooking with LaShonda today. Today, I will be preparing and showing you all how to prepare and make your own classic pieces. Uh, today, I already uh, done started. I don't cut all my uh, veggies up that will be going on my pizza today. I got pepperoni, onions, bell peppers, mushrooms, and I got tomatoes and mushrooms and olives and black olives. And I also got my bacon in the oven and my sausage cooking. So I'm waiting on that to come out. And uh, today I used pre-thin uh, crust already uh, pre-packaged. Uh, don't get me wrong now. I like to make my own dough, but you know, it, it takes the time out, you know, to do that. But if you're in a rush and you really just want your own personal pan pizza, these are the best crust to get. And uh, today I used uh, four different types of cheeses. I used the mozzarella, the ultimate pizza blend, ultimate nacho blend, and I used Kobe Jack cheese. I got all my cheese mixed mixed in together. I got my marinara sauce and my pizza sauce. And I will be using sprinkles of whole, original, rosemary, and Italian today. Okay, you guys, I'm back. I just took out my sausages. I just... uh diced these up and I just got out my bacon so now I'm gonna start uh, dressing these little piece classic pieces up we're gonna do the ultimate bacon double cheese pizza with mushroom black olives and tomatoes for the first pizza I got me a big dipping spoon Put a little bit of that pizza sauce and marinara sauce on the pizza okay on the first pizza of uh, it's going to be the ultimate bacon double cheese pizza with the mushroom, black olives, and tomato. So, I'm going to just sprinkle. You sprinkle your cheese cheeses all over your pizza. You got to dress it up, dress it up. This is the first pizza that we will be doing. The ultimate bacon double cheese. This one gonna be right. It's kind of messy, but it's worth it. Then now I'm gonna use a little bit of Italian, sprinkles of Italian. I got a little bit of uh, rosemary, a little bit of original. Now. Y'all tell me that ain't gonna be this ain't gonna be fat. Y'all know this piece is gonna be out the chain right here. Lots and lots. The good thing about it when you do your own personal piece is you get to put how much meat and how much toppings you want. You won't get charged extra for nothing. <laughs> so now I got my black olives, mushrooms, and tomatoes together. I'm gonna get in there and get some of tomatoes. Yep, I love to do my own pieces every now and then. You know how you get tired of going and order out, honey? I make my girls, my children, their own little pieces. And then on top of that, I'm done with this one. This is the ultimate bacon double cheese pizza with mushrooms and black olives and tomatoes. I always like to sprinkle extra little cheese on it. Yes, and I got here a little child. Okay, I'm back you guys. This is my second pizza that I'm dressing up This is the three me supreme pizza with pepperoni sausage and bacon This is the second pizza that I am working on to build my toppings up a Little I'm using a little marinara and a piece of sauce. That's it 
and it's real fun to make your own pizza because you know you can make it how you want to make it you dress it up how you want to dress it up i'm doing my cheeses You gotta go big or go home because I like cheese. I love it. Okay. My sausage. This is gonna be the supreme three meat pizza. I got my bacon. I put a little more sauce. That's the best thing about making your own pizza. You can load it up with your favorite toppings. Now, this is my uh, red and green bell peppers and my mushrooms. Yes. This is how Lashonda get down. Okay, I need some onions. Tell me how they look, y'all. Do they look good or not? I'm going to put a little black olives on here. A little more cheese. A little Italian. A little rosemary. Then I'm going to load it up with some pepperonis. And then I'm going to put extra cheese on top. That's how you do it. Making my own pizza. My kids love when I make them though. Put a little extra cheese on it. Yep. Yeah. And a little bit of chives on top. Bam! Okay, I'm back you guys. This is my third pizza that I'm making a uh, sausage and pepperoni double cheese pizza. This is pizza number three. This is my third pizza that I'm dressing up with all my little favorite veggies and meat. Cheese. I know my kids probably can't wait till these pieces get done. And then my pepperonis. Just lay them out. No matter how they on there, long they on there. They don't have to be in a single line. I'm finishing up my last pizza. Uh, this is a sausage and pepperoni double cheese pizza. Now I'm adding my sausage. Look how pretty that is. And extra cheese. There you have it. I'm gonna run these in the oven on 375 and let them cook until the crust uh, crust up real good and my veggies get soft.
Here's an update on the pizzas. They still cooking. They haven't kind of crisped up yet. But uh, as you can see, they're going to be the bomb. Here's another quick update, y'all. They're almost ready. They're looking so good. They're almost there. Well, I'm back, you guys, with my three uh, classic personal pieces I made today. On the first one, I made the Autumn Bacon Double Cheese Pizza with mushrooms, tomatoes, and black olives. My second pizza, I did a three meat supreme pizza with pepperoni, sausage, and bacon. And my third pizza, I made a sausage and pepperoni double cheese pizza. So this is my finishing product, y'all. Please go subscribe to my channel and like my recent videos, my people. Thanks, and peace out, y'all.